This is the place to do it. In one of the places. Uh, I got a few couple announcements, quick couple announcements. First of all, a little bit of housekeeping. That door in the front doesn't close by itself. So uh, make sure you shut that if you go out to smoke some cigarettes. Don't leave it wide open because it's freezing outside. We'll get chilly. What are y'all, raising a barn or something? That's what my grandmother used to yell at me. And I was like, no, you raised me. You know it's not a barn. I'm just negligent. Why are you saying I'm that? I'm just a kid. This is a colloquialism I don't yeah. understand. Jeez, it's uh, it's the thick of it, children. It is winter, Here really we go. winter. Yeah, oh, that. Okay. We're getting into like uh, the hard one, February. This the has been a shortest month of technically, but the longest month of your life. It's like living on the dark side of the moon. Not that I need to tell any of you. You all live here as well, so I'm sure you get it. But once the sun god returns, hallelujah. Is that? Yeah. Is that what's been? That going is on? what's happened. You notice how like the sun has just like gone away, right? It's just like not Did there you? anymore that much. I, you know, a lot of pe a lot of smart people have been thinking about why why is this happening? Never. You weren't at the uh, sun god sacrifice. That's last exactly Saturday. it. Well, that's that's what I was reading. The mayor has started this new. Um, what do you want to call it? Initiative, where every day he, he takes like a goat and he sacrifices it. Every goat. Which we, the, and if you notice, he's been doing this for a while, and if you notice, it's been getting a little bit more and more daylight each day with every yeah. goat he kills. Yeah. I think he's got something. I think, what? How, how does he kill them? He just ch chops off their head. I don't know. <laughs> Come next yeah. Saturday. He Come sacrifices next Saturday. to the sun god, which we've obviously angered for some reason. We climb a giant mountain. We try to get as close to the sun as possible. Yeah. It it's like common. <laughs> It's common sense. Yeah, pretty much like that, except you you kill Simba at the end to appease the sun god. Oh, hell no. Whoa, whoa, I didn't realize. Yes. You can't Simba. touch Simba. I guess not. Too can't. soon? Too soon? Yeah. No, he's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, that's Don't true. even talk about his dad, though. No one will. Yeah, I'm not even going to bring okay. that one up. Everyone loves Mufasa. Well, uh... I better get off the stage before someone hurts yeah. me over this Simba we don't thing. Get Lady beat Midnight is our next person Simba. that's supposed to be up here, not Simba. Oh, right here. Nice. Perfect. Give it up for Lady Midnight. Lady Midnight, everybody. Crowd favorite. So now I can proudly say I assaulted somebody with a tampon. By the way, it was clean. I only saved that for, yeah, I only save that for the people I really, really hate. <laughs> yep, so that's all I got. Give it up, Give it up for Lady Midnight, everybody. I rock. I Good rock. set, right off the dome. Just so you know, I pulled that entire routine out of my ass. Yeah. It's a good job. Great job. Great ass routine. Right, right out of the ass. Good, good ass routine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we call a good act, as a turnstile, is a good ass routine. Uh, yeah, real quick, we're going to keep the comedy train rolling with a little uh, Gorilla Dynamite. Doesn't have time to shake it for you tonight, but he's got time to do some impersonations. If you guys want to lure it down a little bit for the gorilla. So come up here, Gorilla Dynamite. And uh, he's the man of a thousand personalities. You never know which one you're going to get. Like tonight, we're gonna get here. Give it away. Do I really have to? Yes. You asked to. Shit. <laughs> you asked to. Oh, okay. Here's one. Okay. For the older people in this house, they probably know what this is. I don't know if it's gonna be great, but here it is. Did I do that? I'll be back. All right, Super Gorilla Urkel impersonation, everybody. Gorilla you, Dynamite, he's got a thousand of them. From that, believe, from that, you can infer that he could probably do a thousand more. Do you have to be old to know who Urkel is? Is that like an old person thing now? He's not no, old. All these people he's, are it. You're a young man. What, what, to, what TV show is it from? Urkel's from Family, Family Matters. Matters. Wow, surprising. <laughs> he's just I don't, genuinely I don't get surprised. What, I don't get what happened. That uh, is surprising. All right, so I don't know what just happened, but uh, we're here again. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep the show rolling. Yeah, who's next, Dina? Brody Cullenberg. Oh, next. yeah, Brody Cullenberg, everybody. Give it up. Yeah, give it on up. More stand up. Give it up for the stand up. Thank you, guys. Remember the stop, drop, and roll? Remember that as a kid? Parents teaching you, just in case you might find yourself on fire. 
I feel like you could probably just cut out most of the stop, drop, and roll. I don't think you need to really remind anyone to stop what they're doing. Like, if you find yourself on fire, and then the drop, like, you, just roll, just, just roll. Uh, like, that, do you guys have, a, like, a friend who never knows, like, just always asking what time it is, even though we all have a cell phone and watches and there's clocks everywhere? And then when you tell them the time, it's either, like, what? It's only 7 o'clock? Or, really, it's already 11? Like, I don't, every time these, they ask what time it is, it's like, they're just figuring out what time, how time works. <laughs> I'm 25, like, I've been doing time for a while now. I've pretty much got it. Maybe I'm biased. Anyway, I'm going to give it back to your host, guys. My name's Brody. Thank you a lot. Hey, give it up for Brody, everybody. Clap hard, clap long. There you go, sir. Your like, hey, that was sword. an awesome set by Brody. Yeah, really awesome. Laughed quite a few times. Yeah. Quite a few times. Just like yeah. three or four? I'd three say or four times, yeah. Hard, <laughs> hard laughs. <laughs> Seth, what time is it? Uh, it is 8.15. Oh my back god, clock. you've got to be kidding me. No. Hey, eight, it's 8.15 already? Y yeah. Let's call that. Zing. <laughs> good good yeah. job. But you know, we got to do what we got to do. And what we got to do is get the next person up let's on get, stage. Let's get to Pat, Pat Bullock. Bullock, everybody. Come on up. Oh, yeah. I went to Catholic Church when I was younger. I didn't really learn much, but I did get really good at hiding erections. Yeah. Went to Catholic Church, did all the Catholic stuff. Communion. Got baptized. Went to my friend's uh, bar mitzvah and heckled him while he's trying to read the Torah. I was like, boo, Yahweh hates you. I'm a good person, I'm chipping in, I do a lot for the community. For example, I liked Gandhi on Facebook today. I think that if you can't beat them, join them, you know? Like France in World War II. Yeah, that's a Nazi joke, guys. Yeah. Now, if you don't like Nazi jokes, that is your right. But just keep in mind, that is something that you share with Nazis. A friend of mine told me, uh, Pat, you gotta stop doing cocaine. Cocaine leaves you with a broken heart and an empty wallet. And I was like, no, it just sounds like you ran out of cocaine. <laughs> it's all that happened there. You don't need to rethink your life, you just need to budget a little bit better. Thanks a lot, guys, bring your MCs back up. Whoops. Great set. Awesome job. Great by set, Pat. Brody. That's, that's Pat, cute. Pat, damn. I'm one behind. Pat. Great, great set. Hey, where is Kevin Doobie? Did he go outside? No. Kevin Yeah, Kevin Doobie. Come inside for one quick second. I got gifts for you. Santa Claus came a little late to my house and I got a few things for the crew. You wanna get a close up of this one, Dylan Orr? I got this one. Oh shit. I got this <laughs> I got this one for you, buddy. If you wanna read that. It says, the only shrooms we eat are on pizza. <laughs> which, if, I, if any of you know anything about psilocybin mushrooms, which I don't think any of you do, if they're on a pizza, that doesn't stop them from, you know, yeah. being <laughs> psychedelic. This is, they could totally be tripping right now. That's for I you, buddy. Good job on the camera, Dylan. You <laughs> sucky job on catching shirts, Dylan. That's not what he is paid for, though, so. He ain't paid for shit. And Mr. Kevin Doobie, I got you a classic Jackie Chan movie, uh, the, fa uh, the Fantasy Mission Force. Jackie I, finds himself in a vicious battle as a wartime commando. Shit, Get a close-up of that. Look at that face. Got you got presents for me? Oh, sh wow. Get a close-up of that, Dylan Orr. See that? Look at that guy's face. A weird movie title for like a wartime movie, like Fantasy Mission Force. What is it? Like a hunt dragons. What it's are you? A, it's a yo yo from 1995. <laughs> Whoa, shit, dude. Is this one of the. So next week, you can yeah, feature you. I will be. Yeah, next week, I'll be the featured artist and I'll be doing yo yo tricks. What is it? Oh, dude, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> Come here. Oh. <laughs> That's how men hug. Yeah, that is how men hug. Thank you. Oh, take your movie. 
Me and Kevin Doobie <laughs> used to, every Friday night, we used to watch terrible VHS movies. And sometimes we'd have a running theme. I think uh, this is a pretty terrible theme, but every September 11th, we would watch movies <laughs> featuring planes. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, Air Force One. Yeah, a little bit too soon, probably. A little bit sooner than the Simba joke. But uh, yeah, Air Force One, uh, Con Air, that was another great one to watch in that's September. Really, that's it's really, really bad. dark and funny. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's up next? Paul Lander. Who? Paul Lander. Hello, Paul Lander, everybody. Come on up. First timer, I believe. Clap oh, yeah? extra hard for the first timers, everybody. Make them feel welcome. Thank you. And give them your attention. All right, what's going on guys, how you doing? Woo! Hey, I liked your story, I liked your story, that was right off the cuff, huh? Yeah. Cool, cool, what's up guys in the back, hello? Yeah, cool, that's my crowd work there, how you doing sir? Doing all right? <laughs> Sticking with me? You have trust in me? Oh, that's probably bad, It's <laughs> probably a bad thing. What's going on chicks in the back? They didn't tell me there's gonna be some good looking ladies here, I like glasses, cool, yeah. Hey guys, don't you wish girls had tails? Yeah. I wish girls had tails, man. You know, that we could see when you're having a good time. <laughs> I said that at a show once, someone came, a girl came right up to me after. She said, Paul, I really, I like that tails joke you got. And by the way, my tail is up. I was like, oh yeah, there's your butthole. <laughs> oh yeah, there's your butthole, right? <laughs> no, you can go, you can sit back down. I knew this was going to be, I knew this, I knew I was going to kill it. I, um, I hate to be corrected. I hate to be corrected. The other day I was corrected when I said butt naked instead of buck naked. I was like, who gives a shit, Dad? Just put your fucking pants back on. <laughs> Am I allowed to swear? Am I allowed to swear? Yes, you are. Okay, hey, hey, used tos. Hey, used tos chatting up a storm. This is my big, this is my big moment. <laughs> if you two are kissing, that's fine. It's 2015, but pay attention while you're kissing. Please. Both of you stews. Look at, listen, listen. Sir, I'm gonna try to buy pot off you after, after the show. Just don't worry about that. I'll buy off you guys after. I'm sure I could get some off of you. Probably gonna give me half a joint smoked. That's what's probably gonna happen. But I will smoke it with you. Yes. Cool, I'll stop looking at you. Um, so this is a fun set. Hey, don't you wish girls had tails, you know? Yeah, oh, fuck it. This guy hates me over here. You guys can't see him. Can we get the camera on him? Never mind. Keep it on me because I'm killing it. Um, it's pretty good so far. <laughs> I, uh, I know you guys as a comedian, you guys are thinking this guy's made it, but... I haven't. Almost had a job as a bouncer. Thought I had the job, then I got a $30 fine for loitering. I did not have the job. I did not. I feel like the job application process, like when you're looking for a job, is, is ridiculous. You know, they always ask you for your job history. I live in the now. <laughs> Fuck those other jobs. They always ask me for three references. I only have two parents. <laughs> I recently applied to pest control. No, 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 no. I recently applied to pest control. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, they're both dead. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, <laughs> No, that's great, that's great. You know, and this night was already so high for me. Oh, jeez. Well, hopefully my car got towed and we can call it a, then we can call it a day. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just messing with you, you know? I'm just messing with you, I'm not gonna hurt myself. I, um, <laughs> recently, I recently applied to pest control. Pest control, and on the interview, the guy asked me, Paul, what inspired you to want to work pest control? What inspired you? And I think what he should be asking is, Paul, what happened to you? <laughs> I was in the interview, I didn't know what to say, but I wanted to get the job at the time. What inspired me to want to work pest control? I just winged it. I was like, well, I have a vendetta on all insects. <laughs> and I want to eliminate all insects from people's homes while lowering the chance of Lyme disease in America. <laughs> but the truth is, I heard you guys don't drug test. <laughs> all right, I'm Paul Landry, everybody. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Paul. Great set. Great crowd work. Dear God, that was funny. <laughs> You're missing it, dude. I got it for you. Don't worry, honey. I got what you need. Hey, check this out. I, uh, I taught myself a trick already. Ready? Well, get this out of the way. Make some room. Already? Make some room. Make some room. Make some room. All the way. More. More room. More room. 
More room. Are you just asking more me to room, leave? More room, more room, more room. Get out of the way, safety first. Ready? Oh, with the yo-yo. Oh. Up and down. That's what I call the old up and down. <laughs> Can I? Are you ready for the reverse up and down? I'm gonna go down and then up. Come on, baby. Yeah. That's the same thing, so. <laughs> That's the same trick. This thing was like made for a child. It doesn't fit around my man finger. Oh, it's got a priest. Oh, check it out. You can use that as a slip knot. You just slip it through there. Uh, don't tell me what to do. And man. then it's an don't adjustable tell me what knot. To do. Don't I know tell me how about. to yo my yo yo. Yo. That's that Round should be the this. world. Jesus. <laughs> Get closer, get closer. This, now, this get is closer. what cavemen used to do. This is another trick. To get murder closer. people. Get closer. It's another trick. It's called William Tell. <laughs> What's it called? William Tell. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyway. Um, uh, we got one more comic coming up. We got a few more comics coming up. But uh, everyone give it up for Miss Cindy Brown, Cindy Brown, everybody. Come on on up here. Woo! <laughs> anyway. Maine. These are my people, yeah. you guys. Metal. So do you know what the word um, deprecate means? It means to like put yourself down. And I, can, I pride myself on being a very self-deprecating comedian. Actually, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> <sighs> so uh, you guys remember Furbies? 1998, I was 10. I didn't really need a Furby then. I'm 26 now, I could use a buddy. But uh, you know, my family does know I'm not a goody two-shoes. They then gone possessed by demons, which is like, I think, way wishful thinking on their part, right? I don't really, I don't really want to prove them wrong or anything because, you know, um, I just, the magician never reveals its tricks, I guess, and so, if, but if I came up with something equally as ridiculous but real, could I do the pros and cons? Like, they're possessed by Kale or Walmart, right? But no, the worthy foe is right-wing Republicans. Because historically speaking, demons have been exercised. You can't get rid of the Tea Party. You just, like, can't shut them down. <laughs> and if I'm possessed by demons, if I'm possessed by demons, at least they're fun to hang out with. <laughs> except when they make me cry. It was like a few times, but whatever. I'm over it. You know, it's rough. And I have a friend and she said, how does it feel, Cindy, to be mo the most successful person in your family? And I said, it is lonely at the top. I need a Furby. <laughs> Thank you guys, have a lovely night. That was awesome. There we go. Thank you, Sydney. Thank, Thank you. Sydney. We'll give it up one more time for Miss Sydney Brown. Always funny. Always delightful. Ooh. It's been hilarious. Oh. Today. Everyone's mm. been hilarious. Everybody. Absolutely yeah. everybody. Everything. This guy. Hilarious. Good hilarious. joke. I like that one. Ha! That, did you hear ha! some of the people in the audience say yeah. things out which they actually shouldn't? They shouldn't do that. Hilarious. Yeah. Little little tip. Don't don't don't, don't do, do that. that. Don't do that. It people was funny, but people don't, don't like that. That guy down the hall, hysterical. Hysterical. Everyone's funny now. What was his name again? I don't know. Yeah, he was funny. He was funny. You know who else is funny? Probably who's up next. Sam Pelletier. Yeah, oh, that's Sam who's funny. Pelletier. Yeah, he come on funny. up, Sam. Another favorite to turnstile. Ladies and gentlemen, dude in the black hair. Ho hold on for a second. Dude, this guy is the most like alpha male bass player I've ever seen in my life. He stands in the front, and he just rocks it, and he's fucking good at it. Give it up for this guy. Like, yeah. Like, you know my uh, Pat Bullduck went up a little bit. You know him? Just now? Uh, dude, you look like Pat Bullduck if he said no to drugs. <laughs> Drummer. You look like John Connor the Rebellious Years. <laughs> look like Terminator 2 a little bit? I don't know. Are you going to say something about the guitarist? No, you're, you're a guitarist. You don't need any extra pads. Go get easy pussy, dude. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> dude, how weird would it be to talk to someone about the problems you face in 2015? Like, what are your 2015 problems? Like, well, uh, my girlfriend yelled at me for being on my phone all the time, and then like two days later, she yelled at me for not responding to texts quickly. 
All right, let's get to some acts that aren't stand-up comedians. Woo! Bye, guys. Man, we lucked out tonight. Yeah, a lot of great sets. Yeah, the, Sam, I like your uh, your outfit. You look like uh, the mugshot on the news from when those guys robbed the bank recently. <laughs> He got He's the black guy. gloves, the hat. It's true. He incognito, he needs some sunglasses, and I don't know who yeah. you are. That's the guy. That's that's the guy. I wish I could just see through you in your intricate disguise and find out what's been wrinkling the skin between your eyes. Right on. We're going to keep that on beautiful. moving this train as fast as possible, children, because 930 quickly approaches and the man's going to come. It could be a little bit of feedback, Adam. It's could, it could be turnstile train. It could be turnstile train. That, that actually, choo -choo. No, that doesn't really, choo-choo. Yeah, choo-choo. Uh, you slowly. actually, I was going to say no, but now with that, <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Yeah. Those are... Two, uh, my favorite word in the English language is chew. So, oh. chew chew, that's twice it's, in a yeah. row. They like twice sound in a row. For, Yeah, trains must really excite well, There's you. not really much other like things in this world that go chew chew. Trains don't even really go chew chew. That's the sound I make when I'm chewing things. Chew, chew, I go chew chew, 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 chew. You say the word chew, chew as you chew you things. Don't I? Yeah, it's really annoying. Just like Especially when you chew gum. Shotgun shot yeah, don't don't shoot a shotgun outside at seagulls. That is against the you law. You mean I can't just go shooting seagulls no, with a shotgun? No, not anymore, man. Welcome to the. Yeah, Cowboy Dan's a badass. He does what Cowboy Dan wants He's to do. Kind of history making, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's Give, it Give it up for the Campfire Cowboy one more time, Cowboy. everybody. Always teaching us good lessons. Always learning things. Like what? Uh, what'd you call this Campfire That's Cowboy? That's a fresco. A fresca. Fresco. Fresco. Fresco Sefie. is like a drink, right? Like uh, a, like a <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're both delicious, though. This is what I would call a surge or a uh, surge. A, f a, f a fanta. Um, yeah, fancy. Or uh, a he, uh, what's another fancy Sierra drink? Sierra Mist. A Perrier. A Pierre. A Pierre. Pierre. All right. Pierre. Well, thank you, Campfire Cowboy. Fresco. It's fresco. a beautiful fresco. Fresco. Kind of sounds like Alfredo. Makes me kind of hungry. <laughs> I was Both thinking about getting the whole time. I'll whole get you time. some Alfredo after Thanks. this. Sorry, boys. Seth, right, do you know what the uh, uh, you what? know what the trick to making a beautiful fresco is? What? What's the trick? You uh, buy yourself a canvas. Yeah. You go to the outstar, you buy yourself a canvas and you yeah. buy some paint. Okay. And some paint brushes. Yeah. And you take them home and you take put, them home. Put, put it all, all on a table. Put and you them sit all down on the table. And you take the paint brushes and you put them in the paint and you paint. Whoa. Interesting. And that's that's the secret man. to making a beautiful you fresco. You put the paint brushes in the paint. Yeah, you put them in the paint. Paint and then you brushes rub them in on the your paint. body. No, no. I'm sorry. I let me go over it again. All of it again. Nice but we got two more acts for you. Two more lovely, weird, strange acts. Just the way you like them. I want to bring up the ancient baby, baby alien, Ro alien Rasta, Rasta Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, it is a mouthful. The ancient alien baby, baby Rasta, Rasta Jesus. Rasta. Ancient alien baby Rasta Jesus. <laughs> Jesus like Christ. Like wow. Jesus. Baby alien Rasta Jesus. Very nice. Uh, I like the flower on your nipple, kinda. Seth, we said their name three times and we And they appeared, in yeah. If you guys ever want to do a trick, look in your, uh, stare into your bathroom uh, mirror. Yeah. Exactly at 159. Say the words baby alien Rasa Jesus three times. And this gentleman, this it, your head will explode <laughs> and then these guys will pop out of your uh, body and uh, <laughs> live in your apartment. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> 